All right, the CX509N is a fantastic thickness sander. And like all thickness sanders that have a feed belt, sometimes they get a little bit loose and they come out of alignment. In this video, we're gonna show you how to fix just that so this machine is always working in tip-top shape. First thing you'll do is put a sticker underneath the belt and make a mark with a pen or a pencil. This is going to allow you to figure out what direction the belt is moving in. Once you've marked the belt location, turn the machine belt speed all the way to high and turn the machine on. In this case here, we notice that it's tracking a little bit to the right. Loosen the lock nut for the feed belt tensioning bolt all the way and move the nut and bolt all the way forward. Do this on both sides. Then loosen the feed roller lock bolts on both sides. Now that the belt is loose, slide the belt back into the center of the roller. Advance the tensioning bolt fully forward and make sure that you're doing this on both sides. It's critical that what you do to one side, you do to the other when adjusting this machine. Now you'll notice that we've used some paint to mark the bolt which creates an index mark. This is critical so that we can count our steps. Now you will advance the tensioning bolt one turn per side until you complete three full turns on both sides. Now that the belt is tensioned, you can tighten the feed roller lock bolts on both sides of the machine. Loosen the bushings on the adjustment rod and slide them out of the way. Adjust the tracking screws so that they are halfway through their travel. Count the turns to ensure that they are equal on both sides. Place another sticker or a piece of tape under the belt to gauge your progress as you make adjustments. In our case, the machine is tracking to the right, so we turn the right-hand track screw counterclockwise and clockwise for the left-hand tracking screw by one turn. We've made our initial adjustment, so now we're going to watch to see how the belt tracks. You can see here that it's continuing to move a little bit to the right, which means we're going to have to make more adjustments in the same manner as we did the first time. Continue to make changes and track your progress. This process takes a little bit of time and patience, so hang in there and you'll get it. Now that the belt is tracking straight, you have to center it one final time. Loosen the feed roller lock bolts. Back off the tensioning bolts two turns on each side. Be sure you track these two turns so that you can get it positioned back where you had it. Now that everything is loosened off, slide the belt back to center. Line it up with the edge of the roller. Retighten the tensioning bolts two turns on each side and then tighten the feed roller lock bolts. To hold the setting in place, tighten the two tensioning lock bolt locking nuts. Place a fresh piece of tape down just to confirm your adjustments. Make your mark and turn on the machine. Your belt should be tracking straight and not traveling on the roller. Finally, place the bushings lightly against the belt and tighten them down. Now that your drum sander is functioning well, you can get back to woodworking.